William J. Knight a test pilot and aspiring astronaut, accelerated his aircraft to Mach 6.7 while flying at a height of more than 102 feet in October 1967. For a powered crewed aircraft that flight established the official world record for the fastest speed ever measured. It still stands as a record today Knight was sitting in the pilot seat of an unproven rocket-powered high-speed research aircraft the North American X-50. Between 1959 and 1968, the X-15 program operated 3x15 seconds on 199 flights. At the time the program tested aerodynamic theories alongside aviation and spaceflight technologies just like all other X-planes. Also, it was really cool the US Air Force and NASA intended to use it to launch military spacecraft into orbit, but NASA cancelled its participation in favor of Project Mercury. Nevertheless, the X-15 produced some insightful research. Although it was the first crewed hypersonic aircraft, much work remained before it could reach the record-setting speed. The designers had to figure out how to add landing gear to what was essentially a rocket with a cockpit, remove the lower tail fin stabilizer for land, and create a metal alloy that could withstand the friction of flying at nearly Mach 7. A B-52 Stratofortress bomber served as the X-15's mothership. The rocket plane was let loose after accelerating to 500 miles per hour at a height of 8.5 miles above the Earth with 16,000 pounds of thrust, nearly three times as much as Chuck Yeager's Bell X-1, which he used to break the sound barrier in 1947 it took off. The first man in space was a Soviet cosmonaut named Yuri Gagarin in 1961 and the first American astronaut was named Alan Shepard later that same year. The North American X-15 was capable of doing so much earlier the X-15 made its first powered flight in 1959 test pilot Joe Walker crossed the internationally acknowledged border between Earth and space in 1963 by flying the X-15 above 100 kilometers. The X-15 could reach great speeds and heights, but the main rocket could only sustain the aircraft for a short period of time. Throughout its 199 flights, the X-15 was piloted by 12 different pilots, including astronaut Neil Armstrong, the first person to set foot on the moon. After breaking the barrier, five U.S. Air Force pilots received their astronaut wings. After their flights, three civilian pilots had to wait 35 years to get their wings. The X-15 program had a relatively safe track record for its pilots especially for such a high-intensity series of high-speed and high-altitude missions. Although the plane was also damaged the opportunity to rebuild it with some enhancements, such as longer fuel tanks and a heat-resistant coating was provided. During the rocket-powered aircraft's testing, only one pilot perished. When Madge Michael J. Adams' aircraft entered a hypersonic spin during a descent in 1967 he died. At 60,000 feet it completely disintegrated sending debris 50 miles in all directions. Near the location where the cockpit was discovered amid the plane's debris a monument was erected the astronaut memorial later added his name. The pilots were unaware that the 199th flight they would take would be their last. A 200th flight was planned but due to weather and technical difficulties it wasn't able to take off until December 1968.